Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to 6.2, um, where it's going to be part of the second page, but that's okay, we'll get hopping right into it, it'll be fine. So, stoichiometry is converting reactants to products and the reverse. We're also going to do heat calculations on next time, and molarity stoich on next time. So let's hop into what we are going to do this time. Stoichiometry is the mathematics of chemical equations. So it answers these questions. How much product can I make? How much reactant is needed? How much leftover material will I have? How effective is this reaction? So that's pretty much, you know, this is first podcast, and these are the last podcast, so that's it. Chemical quantities can be converted from one type of substance to another. Okay, so I can convert N2 into H2. It's like, what, what, what? Um, if I'm making bologna sandwiches and I use three pieces of bologna for every two pieces of bread, oh, maybe I should use, uh, maybe I shouldn't use bologna. Let's use salami. Yeah, three pieces of salami for two pieces of bread. If I use six salamis, I'm going to have to have four slices of bread. Oh, dude, that's so confusing. No, it's not. It's just ratios. But we'll do that. And when it gets more confusing and meaner, um, we'll have a mathematical way to show it. So. Coefficients, remember coefficients are the numbers in front of it, represent particles, moles. One mole of N2, look, there's one, needs three moles, that's three, of H2. When one mole, right, one mole of N2, I'm looking at one again, makes two moles of NH3. Look, the coefficients, right? <gasps> Uh-oh, what if I had five moles of N2? <gasps> So 5 moles of N2, if I multiply this times 5, ah, why are you moving so much? If I multiply this times 5, I multiply everything else by 5. So let me show you when it gets meaner than that. I'm going to write 1 mole of N2 times 1 mole of N2. I'm sorry, I don't have 1 mole of N2 I'm starting with. Remember, this is my given. 5 moles of N2, that's my given. So I have 5 moles of N2, and I want to convert it into moles of H2. I need a relationship between these two. I need a relationship between hydrogen and nitrogen. Well, one nitrogen, wow, gets really, really zoomed in. One nitrogen makes three hydrogens, and three times five is 15 moles of hydrogen. And remember, the diagonal stuff cancels. Okay, that's not so bad at all. Let's do another. And in another color, shut up, Mr. Folly. These are like the best colored things ever. Same thing, I have five moles of N2. But this time, I'm convert into NH3, times dividing bar. So I don't want moles of N2 anymore. Again, it told me I have five moles of N2. Okay. So now I want to get into moles of NH3. I need a relationship between the two. I get two from one. Oh, 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 oh. I get it, I get it, I get it. Five times two is ten moles of NH3. Ah. Okay. Mole ratios can be in, inverted, flipped, to cancel units better. So canceling units means a given unit is canceled by putting that unit on the bottom. I think you've heard that 50 times today already. Well, in class. So in this part, if I want to write a mole ratio, notice how I've got 1 to 3, 1 to 2, uh, uh, 1 mole of N2 to 2, right? So you just put ratios of the coefficients. So some mole ratios for, um, so let's see, if I do nitrogen to hydrogen, it's nitrogen to hydrogen, right? Um, and if I did, um, let's do this, um, NH3 to H2, let's see, NH3 to H2, okay? And then you can just as easily flip that around and say it's two moles of NH3. The three moles of H2. And those are equivalencies. They're equal to each other. So let's write some mole ratios of this. So two moles S over three moles O. It's writing the comparison numbers there, comma, two moles S over two moles so three. Now on this one, I prefer, and so do you, but it doesn't matter, one mole of S over one mole of SO3. What? You reduce it? Oh, whoa, oh. There's a couple. 
reducing it is okay and it's preferred. It's the simplest form. It's not wrong if you don't, but you know, people just talk about you behind your back about how you, you don't reduce fractions. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh. Converting from substance A to substance B. This is how to do it. The steps. You're always going to go through moles. Always go through moles. Always go through moles. Always go through moles. You're going to write the given. Cancel your given unit and go into what you want. Now, cancel given unit. Put it on the bottom. Put on bottom. Cancel the top unit and go into the unit you want. Or go to moles. Do the mole ratio. Okay, so take a look. You have 25 grams of S. How many grams of SO3 form? Grams of S, grams of S on the bottom to cancel. I have canceled you. Um, when I write grams of S, I need to know what number goes with it. Little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. The periodic table told me the number 32.06. Okay. Now, I've got moles of S here, right? So these have to equal each other. One mole of S equals 32.06 grams. So I lied to you a little bit. So last week I told you that the number one always goes with moles. But when we have moles over moles, use the mole ratio. Moles over moles use coefficients. I bet that's a podcast question, pod quiz question. It is. It's a question. Oh, get out. All right. So two moles of SO3, that's a coefficient. Two moles of S, that's coefficient. Okay. Now I want to find grams of SO3. So now I'm in moles of SO3, right? This got rid of grams of S. I have to go through moles. Get rid of moles of S. I'm in moles of SO3 now. Get rid of moles of SO3. Go into grams. How did I get this number again? Go to the periodic table. Okay. And in my calculator, I do 25. Let's do it. 25 divided by 32.06 times 2 divided by 2 times 80.06 is 62.4. Ah, uh, 3 grams of so 3. Mole ratios from the coefficient. Grams means go to the periodic table. Math is multiply the things on the top. Multiply, multiply, multiply. Divide the things on the bottom. Divide, divide, divide. Okay. How many moles of O2 are required to produce 350 grams of SO3? So I've got SO3, which is up here. Um, let me go ahead and put it up here. I'll change my color, but I'll put it up here. Got a little, a little, a little, a little, a little bit more room up here. 350 grams of SO3. And my goal is moles of O2. And so I write what I want and I circle it. Okay. So I'm going to start off by hating grams of SO3. I hate you, grams of SO3. I kill you. And to figure out how many grams of SO3. I go to the periodic table. Sulfur is 32.06 plus um, oxygen 16 times 3. That's 48. That's 80.06. That's grams of SO3 and one mole of SO3. Always go through moles, always go through moles, going through moles, going through moles. I want moles of O2. But right now, I'm in moles of SO3, so I need to cancel moles of SO3. I put moles of SO3 down here to cancel. I can and I want to go into moles of O2. Moles over moles are coefficients. Coefficient for O2, trace. Coefficient for SO2, dose. Now, all I want is moles of O2. I'm finito. So, calculator time. 350 times 3 divided by 80.06 divided by 2. So, again, remember, divided by, divided by. That's it. And I got 6.56. 6.56 moles of oxygen. That's it. I'm done. You're done. No way. Yes way. Let's hop out of here and say two, 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 toodles. And I'm